Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Perfectly timed. The lawnmower noise has just subsided in the background. Today is going to be a really wonderful day. We've woken up to perfect blue skies. It is the most gorgeous day. Today is the Friday of the Jubilee long weekend, and it is the day of our little garden party. We've just got it's just gonna be six of us, just a very small gathering, maybe eight of us, but probably six of us. So I've got a lovely morning ahead of me getting everything ready. Um, I want to make a lovely tablescape. I've not purchased anything new because I love the table stuff that I've already got. And uh, as much as I love to be patriotic, I don't love red, white, and blue. I mean, I love white, obviously, but I don't love red and blue when it comes to table setting, so I didn't want to buy anything new. So I'm just going to um, put strawberries and blueberries on a cake as my red, white, and blue little bit of um, trying to be patriotic for the garden party. But it's a good excuse to get some of our favorite people together and have a lovely afternoon in the garden. So as soon as um, I've got myself ready, I'm going to be making a rosé and strawberry from the garden jelly and also a lemon cake. Lemon and lavender cake. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a really lovely day, so hopefully therefore a lovely vlog. As you can tell, this is not me attempting a regal hairstyle. I've got my hair in the heatless waves. They've been in um, the silk sausage for about an hour so far. And George and Petra are arriving in just under two hours. So hopefully, I mean, my hair was quite damp when I put these in. If I get outside, then hopefully it'll dry and we won't have a disaster because I am trying to do two weeks two weeks of no heat on my hair. So the only thing that I haven't decided for today is what I'm going to wear. And if I pivot you around a little bit, dun dun dun, we have quite quite a few packages to unpackage together from Farfetch, which I can't wait to do because some of these things have been in my basket for quite a while. Um, some of them are not appropriate to wear today because I have got some bikinis in there because we have finally got a summer holiday booked. Can't wait. Now that my passport's arrived, we felt that we were safe to book a summer holiday, so that's exciting. But yeah, I do have a potential outfit, at least one potential outfit for today in these packages. So without further ado, let's um, let's get into them. What I think I'll do is film any try-on clips later on when I'm not looking like this. So as you may have guessed, I do have the Farfetch discount code to share with you guys again. So that will be on the screen here. You can use that discount code to save 10%. There are a few little T's and C's which I'll leave in the description box down below, but should work on everything that I'm about to share with you. And very, very exciting announcement. Um, Farfetch are now doing beauty and Oh my goodness, they have got so many amazing brands on there. I've just pulled out a few of my favorites. Tom Ford, Tom Ford lipsticks. Um, <laughs> honestly, the way that our friends and I chat in our WhatsApp group chats, we're talking about, I'm not even gonna tell you what we're talking, <laughs> it's just so funny. Let's put that on silent. Yes, so they have got Tom Ford Beauty, which is amazing. My favorite lipsticks in the world are from Tom Ford. Sable Smoke is my everyday. I love Spanish pink. I feel like today's a Spanish pink kind of day. Ooh, Fascinator, I haven't worn this in a while. I think today is a Fascinator kind of day. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this color. That's gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna be my new everyday lipstick. They also have Charlotte Tilbury. So many of my favorites from Charlotte Tilbury you can get on Farfetch now, including the airbrush setting spray, which is such an essential for summer because <coughs> it just keeps your makeup locked in all day long and new from Charlotte Tilbury is their uh, Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. It's the most gorgeous highlight. Um, perfect for just popping on the tops of your cheekbones. 
so so lovely so yeah oh and also skincare so do i have any here no but i'll probably do one tonight um one 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 skin which are just the best when it comes to the under eye patches and the sheet masks you can get one 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 skin on farfetch and you can get sarah chapman the spf that i wear most days is her skinesis skin insurance spf 50 so if you've never shopped on farfetch before but you love your luxury beauty products this will be a great way to um, use the discount code and also just see how easy it is to shop on there. As you may know, it works as an online luxury aggregator, so it pulls together products from boutiques all over the world, from Austria, Germany, America, Australia. Did I say Australia twice? I don't know. Sorry, the lawnmower is back. But yeah, so things that are often sold out in, you know, stores in London, for example, you can get them on Farfetch, you can get Australian brands and not pay crazy import duties. <laughs> Gotta love Brexit. Anyway, let's dig in to Le Pocage. Starting with one of the small ones. Ah, I think this is one of my swimsuits. So I have had a oh, colour. I have had a Hunza G, I have got a Hunza G uh, bikini already, and I love it. I find it one of my most flattering uh, swimsuits slight uh, tangent but i've i watched fleur's pregnancy essentials video and she mentioned a hunza g swimsuit in there because they are well known for being one size fits all which looks unbelievable quite frankly when you see it you're like i am not gonna fit into that but then you do i've seen girls of all different shapes and sizes looking amazing in these and i thought this color a little bit more true color wise there is just going to be so so flattering so if you are pregnant then according to fleur these are fabulous but i love that color i thought it was so vibrant and it's going to look great on sun-kissed skin and they have an incredible selection of hunza g's i mean look <laughs> how dinky that looks but they really are like super duper stretchy they have an amazing selection of hunza g on farfetch i loved the color of this one uh, it's just like a, a beautiful kind of eucalyptus very fresh green and it has a kind of tanky style top so yes that's my first unboxed um selection of items from farfetch i feel like my hair is becoming looser and i don't want it to unravel i don't know what to do uh okay next Ooh, i think this is a potential dress for today uh -huh. Alame, what a lovely brand photo that is. Your new Alame garment has been made with love and care. We hope you have a long life together. When you finish creating your new ex creating new experiences in your Alame garment, please resell, repurpose, or upcycle to help out our environment. We've also planted a tree in your honor, reducing CO2 emissions and having a positive climate impact. Welcome to the Alame community. Carefully packed by A. Such a nice touch. I shall. I shall do exactly as I'm told, Alame. And look at this lovely... Oh, that is such a fun fabric. Gorgeous packaging. Got little, um, little green eyes. Oh, I ordered two. Keep forgetting and getting double whammies. Okay, so I think this one's the shorter option, which could be perfect for today because it is quite toasty um that is absolutely adorable really sweet little shorter dress you've got a bit of smocking at the back here so it's going to fit in a really lovely way i love that detail on the sleeves look at this beautiful floral pattern that is absolutely gorgeous i might film the try on clips after i've released my hair from the curls so let's uh, travel forward in time and i'll show you how this looks on hello my darlings josie from the future here so we have the first dress and we have an instant winner this is the perfect dress for summer holidays as i'm filming this now i'm just starting to think about packing for our upcoming trip it's about a week away but this is most definitely coming with me so it is a very fun and feminine summer dress really lovely length it doesn't feel too short it's just finishes just above the knee which is absolute perfection i love the neckline you've got this really gorgeous um kind of edging detail on the straps which is so gorgeous and i do love a square neckline the pattern on it is just a really lovely purple flower and then the actual color of the dress is a very soft kind of lemony almost like a greeny lemony color silhouette wise you've got a little bit of 
um, a cutout detail around here, a bow at the back. I think it's such an unusual silhouette. So something a little bit different to your classic summer dress and I absolutely love it. I haven't added any shorter dresses to my collection in quite some time. So it feels different. I love that it's a brand that I've not had before, not even heard of before. So definitely, definitely a winner. And we're back. Here is dress number two from Alame. Oh my goodness, so colorful. Oh gosh. This is so much fun. What gorgeous detail. This reminds me of a kind of Mamma Mia-esque dress. Such lovely design detail. You've got this scalloping up on the neckline, beautiful embroidery. Yeah, it definitely feels like a Greek island frolicking dress. Look at this embroidery. That is just stunning. And it's come with this almost like tie-dye rope belt with little shells on. It feels very holiday vibes. Again, I'm gonna give this a little steam and then try it on for you. Okay, here is dress number two on, and this is very much a Josie silhouette. I do love a long sleeve dress, something that cinches you in around the waist. There is something very fun about this kind of Technicolor rope belt. It reminds me of Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat. The embroidery on here just gives it a really lovely detail, and yet the majority of the fabric is just a super lightweight cotton material, so great for those warm locations where you potentially do need to be a little bit more covered, or great for and a late spring or an early summer event here in the UK. To be honest, even on a really warm day, I feel like this fabric is so light and breathable that you would be absolutely perfect. Spoiler alert, obviously I'm filming this, I'm actually filming this two days later. I did end up wearing this um, for our garden party. It pours down with rain. <laughs> um, and we had four dogs here, which is one, four, four, two, eight. 16 very muddy paws. This dress got completely covered in mud from the dog paws. It has since been in the washing machine and it washes very easily. All the mud came out. So I love a dress that looks amazing, but also you don't need to worry about it because you can just put it in the washing machine. So massive brownie points and gold stars to this dress for that. I I think it's going to be fabulous for upcoming trips as well. Love the embroidery, love the silhouette, love everything about it. <gasps> Yay! So my love for Zimmerman is well documented and I very, in fact always, check what's new in uh, on Zimmerman, in Zimmerman? On Zimmerman, on Farfetch and I just love, I love their new fabrics and their new patterns. This is like a lilac rose. I love wearing these little shorts on holiday. I love the loop trim detail at the top here. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I just find their quality and the styles of them so timeless. I have got all the Zimmerman pieces that I've ever purchased and I still wear all of, do you know what? I think I might have got a size too big here. It says size one, I'm pretty sure I wear a zero in Zimmerman normally, um, but I will give them a try and hopefully, hopefully they fit. If not, Farfetch return and exchange is super easy. Okay, I've got the shorts on with an old Zimmerman top. You might remember this from a couple of years ago. However, you might be able to tell I am clinching, clinching, cinching the shorts in at the back because yes, unfortunately they are too big for me, which is a huge pain, but the fabric on them, the pattern, all the design details, I especially love this little detail here around the waist. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Love the fact that they've got the little pockets. Um, so I'm definitely going to be reordering these shorts in the correct size because I adore them. There are so many bits from Zimmerman that I am obsessed with at the moment. Farfetch also had this amazing dress with this scallop detail, so I might treat myself to that. Whenever I get the Farfetch discount code, Zimmerman is always a brand that I check out first and they have so many gorgeous pieces. Um, but yeah, I did hope to get these for my holiday. I do still have a little bit of time, so I think by the time I send these back, I should get the refund in time to get the next pair and get those delivered ahead of our trip, which is at the end of next week. But they are absolutely gorgeous. I love how they look. I love that the um, kind of background color is almost like an antique like old kind of cream color. Really, really lovely. So definitely one that I will be repurchasing in my correct size. We are three boxes down and three to go, halfway there. That's 
come from the Netherlands. Okay, this is my Rogue purchase because it's actually an autumn winter piece, but I wanted this last year and um, it sold out and I just saw it on the website. So I have purchased it. It is the Joseph knitted roll neck. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel how soft this is. Totally not seasonal at all, um, but I live in these during autumn winter and I think did I pay full price for this or was it on the sale? I'm not sure. Um, but I just saw it and I was like, yeah, I know I'm gonna want that <laughs> in autumn, winter. I did tragically shrink one of my favorite polo neck jumper dresses last autumn. Um, so yeah, this is the replacement. It's full length, super cozy, and I thought, why not? Well, it does feel totally ridiculous showing you a jumper dress in June, but as I mentioned, it's just one of those things that as soon as I saw it, I knew that that was the kind of thing that I will be so grateful for once it starts to cool down again in maybe, hopefully late September, hopefully we have a nice long summer, and it ticks every single box. It's one of those things that, great thing about Farfetch is that not everything is necessarily seasonal because you are shopping from boutiques all around the world, and if you have a timeless, perennial style like I do, then it's always worth picking up these things as and when you see them. So the colour is perfect, I would say the thickness of the fabric is perfect, it's a very simple silhouette, no design detail, you've got a little um, slit on the leg down this side, so if you are wearing some lovely boots then it's going to be perfect, if you've got on a nice pair of earrings, I always think that's lovely, with a high neck um, jumper dress. And the jumper dress is my autumn winter equivalent to my lovely cotton day dresses. I literally just live in them. So big fan of this. And again, definitely keeping. I think this is also an autumn purchase. That's the thing, because these boutiques are all over the world, um, you can get stuff that may typically appear to be out of season, which is great if you're going on a holiday somewhere. So this is actually probably gonna end up being a summer piece because I do wear long line cardigans over summer dresses very frequently. You'll probably find that I end up wearing this later on today. This is, again, so soft. It's from a brand called 12 Stories. And I think this is cashmere or merino wool. I think it's merino wool. Um, which means it's going to be really gorgeously warm, but not too bulky, which is definitely what you want in summer. This colour is totally neutral, so it's going to go over everything, so I will show you how this looks over one of my dresses. And in my final box, I have a new pair of shoes. They are from a brand called Giannico. This is a brand that I've not heard of before. That's another thing that I love about Farfetch is the element of discovery. So many fabulous, beautiful quality brands to discover. Very nice kind of suede pouches. You will not be surprised as to the style of the shoe. My love for raffia, by now very well documented. I saw these and I just thought they looked absolutely fabulous. I love a pointed toe, I love raffia, and I do love a little special detail as well. They look almost like they could be Manolo-esque. Um, I mean, the quality of these is absolutely incredible. They are so beautifully made. I know that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these. I think for a garden party such as today, they are absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna try those on with the dresses. And do you know what? I think I need to re-wrap this side of my hair. That's very annoying. So those are the pieces that I picked up um, in my latest Farfetch order. I'll leave everything linked down below as well as my edit, some things that are on my wish list, and the discount code that you need to get 10% off, and all the T's and C's. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing and try on. Now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna make the jelly first to give it some time to set, start prepping for the party. Okay, so I've got everything set up here. Of course, I am going to film a TikTok, a perennial millennial TikTok um, for my rosé, strawberry and rose jelly. I realised I don't actually have a jelly mould, but no problem because I actually think it's lovely to do jelly in individual portions. So I'm going to do them in these glasses. I'm going to go and get some more strawberries from the bottom of the garden. We've got a few that have ripened. And then, of course, I'm using the Martha Stewart recipe, but she uses 
proper gelatin, you know, makes her own jelly, but I'm doing it the lazy way with Hartley's. I always used to think this was round trees, but it's Hartley's strawberry jelly <laughs> because I don't have time to wait for gelatin to dissolve. So what I'm going to do is slice up the strawberries and raspberries, maybe pop some mint leaves in the bottom as well. Pop them in the bottom of the glasses, add some rosé to my jelly mix, and it should be rather delicious. Okay, the rosé jelly is in the fridge. Charlie's made bacon butties for a quick brunch. I may or may not be enjoying the remaining rosé. <laughs> the other part, the other half is in the jelly. It's trying to be sunny, but it's one of these really weird overcast days, but it's nice and warm. It's not raining and the garden's looking lovely. So timeline wise, I'm actually yet to film the try on clip, so this is really going to be a bit of a backward forward video, but I have decided to go for this gorgeous Alame dress. Um, <laughs> I know I look ridiculous. It's the moment of truth. I'm going to let my hair down and pray, hope and pray that it's done something good. Very frustratingly, it's just started spitting with rain which is very annoying because we really wanted to host everything outside this evening, this afternoon and evening. Um, so hopefully, oh, I think we're a bit damp still. Very annoying, but George and Petra, I think actually I just heard their car on the drive, so. This is, oh my God. Well, we definitely have got some curl. I'm just gonna leave it for a few seconds while I top up my makeup. Um, and then I'll pop a little bit of the voluminizing spray in. It's not gonna be a perfect hair day, but we've got some movement. It's better than my natural hair and we didn't use any heat. So I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> my best hair day but I'm grateful for a little bit of movement and a little bit of wave. I realized I don't have my earrings in so I'm gonna go downstairs put on my final accessories and then do a very very quick scooch around the kitchen make sure it's looking good ahead of our guests arriving. I'm gonna take my Tom Ford lipstick downstairs with me so I can top up throughout the afternoon. I can't even see it. It's Good morning, my darlings. It is now Saturday morning. I don't think I filmed very much at all yesterday. We had a really lovely afternoon. However, the weather totally changed and it was such a shame because afternoons like yesterday really make you realize how much of an impact the weather has on an event because we were determined to make it a little garden party. So we had obviously the table outside, but you couldn't have timed it any worse, to be honest. As soon as our friends arrived, which was around 3 p.m., was when the heavens opened and it didn't stop raining until about 9 p.m. <laughs> it was typical, as soon as it was now too cold to sit outside, that's when the clouds dispersed. Um, but we were so determined to have our 
drinks and our fun outside that the boys ended up putting up a couple of parasols and it was just very British, determined to have a good time no matter the weather and you know what? Yes, it would have been a totally different afternoon if it had been sunny. We probably would have, you know, gone and sat down in the kitchen garden. We might have got some games out, played croquet, and, you know, had like a really sociable barbecue experience. But it always comes down to who you're with and just having a great time with friends. So, yeah, it was still a really, really lovely afternoon. It just not quite the afternoon that I had in mind. So, um... We did think that the weather this weekend was going to be nice, but today, oh my gosh, it was so stormy last night, it was so windy, the noise of the wind last night kept us up quite a lot, you might be able to see some under eye bags and that's not because of the wine, that is because we slept quite badly because the wind, it comes through the house and it is so noisy. Woke up at about 9am, which is very late for me, and the first thing that I did was walk down the garden to check if there had been any damage. I was thinking all the alliums would have been snapped over, I was even expecting to see a few trees over, but luckily, luckily no damage, but it's still super windy. I don't think it's going to rain today, I really hope not, because we really wanted to go to one of the village fates. A lot of the villages around here are doing jubilee celebrations today and tomorrow, so I think the one that seems to be doing it the most is Adderbury, which is where the cottage is. I think George is in the gym with Charlie at the moment. I think Petra and I are going to decorate the cake and um, have some breakfast here and then head to Adderbury and then head to the Blenheim Palace food festival, so I've popped on a long sleeve <laughs> dress today, scraped hair back because it's so windy, there's no point in doing anything with my hair. So that's the plan for this morning, hopefully it brightens up, but either way it should be a really lovely day. darlings so the cake has been successfully decorated with some leaven leaven lemon and lavender and even though the cake didn't rise particularly well and i've realized i forgot to put baking powder in there so that'll probably be why that'll teach me to not bake a cake in a rush um but it actually looks really really nice and then we just whipped together some lovely very tasty brunch we tried to emulate the egg run um kind of like scrambled egg brioche almost like a kind of bun, scrambled egg in a bun <laughs> that we had at the farmhouse and it was delicious. We added some really good quality nutty cheddar cheese into the scrambled egg, added some chives and then we had some caramelised onion and um, I think it was actually the M&S Peri Peri sauce that we also put in with a toasted and buttered brioche bun and it was delicious. So I think we'll be making that a lot more regularly. Um, it's still a little bit grey and blusterous but it looks like it's trying it to brighten up it actually looks better on camera than it is in real life but you can see from the swaying pear trees but it's still pretty blusterous out there um so this is my outfit of the day for heading to Adderbury to the village fate and also then on to Blenheim Palace I've got on my lovely Zimmerman dress which you guys have seen before and then my new cardigan I think I might also take my chunkier white cardigan in the car. 
I'm not too sure if it could be a bit chilly with how blusterous it is. And then the lovely, should I really be wearing new shoes when um, it could rain a bit later? Again, I might take a different option in the car, but I just think these look absolutely fabulous. Such a lovely, quite a glamorous <laughs> version of flat shoes. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. So um, yes, let's head to Adbury and see what's going on over there. Charlie said they're definitely not 99p anymore, but never mind. Really lovely to see so many people here in the town square. There's vintage cars, there's Morris dancing, there's a few different stalls and games going on on the village green. And this little girl just completely smashed this game. She's so good at it. Um, the pub is covered in flags and everyone's having a lovely day. Very, very wonderful way to celebrate the Jubilee. You happy, Char? Very happy, mate. <laughs> How much was your 99p ice cream? I think it was three quid. Three quid? God, that is inflation. Yeah. That. Got the goods. Proper stuff, that. Got the goods. I used to sell these out of my locker at school. So did I, and I got told off. I didn't. I wasn't at... Our school prevents us from being entrepreneurial. No, I used to sell these and drumsticks. <laughs> That's really cool, isn't it? minutes from Adderbury to Blenheim Palace. Charlie and I have annual passes and I would recommend upgrading your pass if you come to anything like the food festival, the flower show, the car show, the Christmas thing, um, into an annual pass because then you get into all of the other events for free, which is amazing. So we are now at the food festival. It's currently half four. Apparently it finishes at five, so we're going to do a quick dash around here and then check out the gardens. my brother's here um, and it's such a glorious evening just our luck that we have this kind of evening tonight <laughs> and 
not yesterday. It's such a shame. It would have been so, so nice if we could have an evening like this yesterday when I was over. But I just wanted to show you. We have got the first, that we have got the first roses coming through on the archway this year. And there are so many buds. It's going to look absolutely incredible. So I'll keep you posted when they all start to bloom. I have pulled myself up. Yeah, he has. Well, this is a very exciting moment because I just came down here and I have realised that we have quite a lot of strawberries, well, <laughs> four or five, that are ready to harvest. So I've brought down my little bowl and this is going to be my first strawberry harvest of the summer. And although we should have enjoyed this yesterday, here is our lovely afternoon setup. We have got the rosé, rosé and strawberry jelly with some fresh strawberries from the garden and my leaven, lemon and lavender cake. Hello again my darlings, we are back home now and I instantly got into my comfy jumper. This is one from Adenola's new collection and spoiler alert, I will have an Adenola discount code coming for you on Sunday. So fill up your baskets, get your wish lists ready because I know lots of you have been asking for an Adenola discount code and it is coming. Um, so we had a really, really lovely afternoon at Blenheim Palace. Unfortunately, we didn't realise that the whole palace <laughs> shot at five but actually there's still so much to do looking around the grounds so that was really really lovely um i've just come straight home popped comfies on hair back and i think we're gonna have a fairly early night george and petra are driving back to london i'm gonna start by taking my makeup off although i'm not sure there's very much left on my skin <sighs> my evening routine never really changes i'm starting doing what well, with my initial cleanse using my face halo. And if you guys still don't have a face halo, you can get them on Farfetch and you can use my discount code, JosieFF, which will get you 10% off. So I'd highly recommend adding one of these into your beauty routine if you don't have one already. It's great for that first cleanse, like say you just get home after a day out and you no longer want to have day old makeup on your skin, maybe you're not ready for the full cleanse, you just want something that's going to take a few minutes. Literally this is so much quicker and easier and more effective even than cleansing wipes and you don't need any products, you literally just dampen your face halo and by some magic it cleans all the makeup off your skin. So I usually do this as my first cleanse and then my skin is much cleaner so that I can actually enjoy the benefits of my cleansing product. At the moment I'm still using my Beauty Pie, Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm. I can't say that it actually gets hot on my face. I'm actually going to do my full cleanse now, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it's kind of similar to the Elemis Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Sorry, that's Clinique. Elemis, um, what do you call it, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Basically all the luxury brands have a cleansing balm and they are the best uh, feeling on your skin. They feel so good. It's really nice to give yourself a little facial massage. So speaking of discount codes, um, Adenola coming soon at Farfetch, you know it. Beauty Pie, uh, my code for Beauty Pie I think is just always on. So if you enter Josie sent me, you can get £10 off your annual membership, making it £49 instead of £59, and then you get access to the most amazing um, skincare products. So affordable, and I love it. So I definitely recommend adding this cleanser into your next order as well. Oh, that feels so good after a day out. So, so nice. Look at my hair. I don't think anyone's hair looks good straight after cleansing, does it? If it does, then you must be a Victoria's Secret model. So I'm putting on just a little bit of the Galan Youth Watery Oil, just for a little bit of um, pampering, a little bit of love after my initial cleanse. It's only 6pm, so I will probably put something, well I'll put my skin in me on 
later on before bed and then I'll put on my Elizabeth Arden ceramide night cream that has been what I've been loving at the moment I'm trying to get better at remembering to take my skincare down my face okay so darlings I am gonna go and um, see what we're gonna make for dinner although I'm not that hungry after I had my katsu noodle dish earlier but I think we'll just have something just some little nibbles and we are attempting to finish watching The Split, which I think is on the BBC. It's really good. We had all three seasons to catch up on because we'd never watched it before and yeah, really enjoying that. So if, you've not, if you're looking for something new to watch, then I would recommend The Split. Let me know down below what you guys are watching because when this is finished, we're going to need something new. What are we going to start? We, we're definitely going to watch Silent Witness because we love crime dramas like that, but that will be over pretty quickly because I think they're only in two episode chunks. But anyway, darlings, I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you very much for watching. If you did get to the end, um, youth watery oil, <laughs> leave the word youth in your comment if you got to the end of the video. And that is all from me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.